also final dyno run for the final chin on the car. We're going to pull a dyno run and we'll talk about it in a second. so you can, guys can hear me a little bit bigger and of course everybody out there has wanted to know the final numbers of this car and um, whilst we're really really happy with the result there is a lot more scope of improved power and performance should we have gone for a 4 inch, four inch exhaust system or deleted the catalytic converters or go for a rotated angle mount turbo or a whole heap of the other features and benefits such as front end integral but you know what that's not what this car is all about it's not about the power number, it's about the torque. And one of the fantastic things I'm pleased to be able to explain is this car's got double everything that a factory standard car would have. And that is monstrous bottom end torque with almost no lag at all. The power figure is not a figure that indicates what the car can deliver. It's 350 kilowatts. But you know what, we're not going for a power figure because when you see the final dynograph, the car just falls off a cliff as far as its top end power because the turbo and the engine can't flow the grunt but the bottom end performance, when you look at the torque, is huge. So 760 newton meters at the wheels, which is double factory standard of 380 newton meters. To give you an idea, we're getting to the point now where the car's right on the limit of the road clutch. Um, it's over torquing the clutch, and we're worried about whether it's going to finish all the dyno runs to finish the car off. Um, but this car's got full boost at less than 3,000 RPM, and on the road, when you drive this car, the car will probably feel like it's got 500 um, kilowatts at the wheels because it's just got such huge bottom end torque. But um, the thing that I think makes a big difference is we're going to kick a huge goal as far as what the client wants, and that is amazing bottom end torque. You look at the engine bay and you can see the car looks amazingly standard because we're still running so many power limiting components with which are often used in factory standard engines. And when we get this car on the road and do some more fine tuning and some more data logging to um, sweeten up the tune, I think the, the point is at the end of the day, it's not power that makes cars quick, it's torque. So uh, let's get it uh, finished on the dyno. We've got a little bit more work to do this afternoon, but for um, now, um, that's the data. Whether you love it or hate it, you know what? We've got a very happy client who's more than impressed with the outcome and um, I'm sure there's a lot of other people who appreciate that result as well. So I can't wait to drive this car and I'm looking forward to ringing out by him and telling him he's got a car that's got 760 newton metres of torque at around 3,000 RPM. But for more technical information, follow our other video updates on the Villa Block um, upgrade. Um, share the video at the bottom here. Um, you can comment on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. Or of course you can email us or pick up the phone and we can help you with more information about your Subaru. But for now, I'm Brent Middleton. Thanks for watching.